<clears throat> hey guys, it's Danny San here, and today's mobile video is brought to you by NOS. Um, honestly, for the price points and everything that you get with NOS, including energy, taste, and all that fun stuff, you just can't beat it, you know? And I know a lot of people like Red Bull and Monster and Rockstar and all those other drinks, but considering that they're normally around the $2 price point, and this is only a dollar, and it's roughly the same size, you know? You get a lot more energy, like... I tried Full Throttle and Venom and Rockstar, and it's just like, pfft, whatever. And it also has a little bit of uh, college nostalgia because uh, it kind of reminds me of the uh, former alcoholic energy drink, now just a regular alcoholic energy drink, Sparks. Um, it has that kind of orange uh, tinge to it, so it has a little bit of uh, nostalgia to it, so that's, that's nice. And, uh, yeah, and I also wanted to... Uh, give this a little bit of time to show how uh, nice my uniform looks because I have a meeting today and I want to look my best so <laughs> anyway enough mirror talk um, I'm gonna try to run through this video as quickly as I can because this is like my fourth take and all of them have been like seven, seven minutes long so forgive me for fumbling over words and just talking fast but anyway the uh, Aldi Mill concert was awesome had some of the best food ever and the waitress actually knew what she was doing when she was pairing food with wine. So, props. You deserve that $20 tip. Um, anyway, uh, the concert was amazing. Wish I could have recorded more. But uh, some of the reasons why I didn't is because, A, didn't charge the battery. Big mistake. Didn't empty out my SD card. I only had about an hour and a half of uh, space left. Another no-no. And uh, at the beginning they said no photography which I didn't realize was no flash photography, because they had this dude with like a humongous, like, Canon lens, in more ways than one, <laughs> recording. Nobody said diddly to this dude, and he was down, like, front, so, you know, whatever, so. And also, uh, next time I'm going to be doing something like that, uh, definitely bringing a tripod, because I think considering that I held the camera the whole time, uh, I think I did pretty well. It was still a little shaky, you know, kind of wibble-wobbly. But uh, all things considered, I think it did well. But next time, definitely bring in a tripod. And uh, I'm going to try to make this like an every other week, maybe every third week sort of thing, uh, depending on who's there. Um, Jake Shimabukuru is showing up next month, so I'm going to try, try, try to make it to that one, because I love that dude. He's amazing. He's an amazing ukulele player, or ukulele, however you pronounce it. Um, check out his stuff. Uh, his most famous piece is uh, a cover of George Harrison's While My Guitar Gently Weeps. It's on ukulele, and it's amazing. Holy shit, I'm running out of breath. But anyway, okay. So after the Aldi Miola concert, which was amazing, by the way, of course, as you can tell from the videos, um, he was supposed to do autographs, but uh, he didn't do it for the normal audience. Um, so I talked with one of his tour manager, guide person, whoever, and... Uh, he went up and had dinner, like, immediately after the concert, so I didn't even get a chance to talk to him, which kind of sucks, but, hey, he did well, so he deserves a nice steak, or whatever, so. Anyway, I talked with the tour manager dude person, and uh, he ran up this book, and I finally got his autograph. Check it out. Okay, this is a song book. Uh, it has some of Al's classic pieces, like uh, Land of the Midnight Sun right there. And it's not in tab form, it's in uh, musical notation. I don't know if you can see that, depending on how good the resolution of this camera is. There's Al. <laughs> and uh, there's his autograph right there. And I was a little suspect because it looks uh, kind of weird, so I compared it online with uh, some other autographs that he did, and it matches up. It's pretty consistent, so uh, yeah, sorry for being paranoid. <laughs> I also got a touring t-shirt. says Al Dimiola. Pursuit of Radical Rhapsody, that's his uh, newest CD coming out in uh, March 2011. And at the bottom it says, Tour 2011. And I know it's a little wrinkly, but I pulled it out of the wash, so it'll be less wrinkly later. But anyway, whew, Jesus. I'd also like to apologize to uh, some people that have been sending me questions for NFAX and other videos um, after the whole Aldi Miola uploading thing, which took literally all day in Starbucks. I decided to take a little uh, break, so I didn't answer questions, I just kind of went on my phone to check how many views my other videos have gotten, uh, which are good, thank you, <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, 
So, um, I'll be resuming answering questions uh, today. Hopefully, I get them all answered by today. Um, I got to record NFAX tonight. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be talking about. I have them all written down on my computer, but it's not in front of me, so I don't know. Um, also, like to take a quick, quick second to um, talk about something that's been uh, kind of uh, uh, plaguing, I guess you could say, my uh, some of my videos as of late, and that's trolls. I don't like trolls. They're annoying. Trolls and haters, they can all die. But, um, anyway, my policy with dealing with trolls online, like any good YouTuber should, is just straight up blocking them. You know, don't, don't give in to the hate and just, like, start messaging them back and all this other crap, because in the end it's pointless, you know? You're wasting your time, so. And it's different from constructive criticism. I mean, I can handle constructive criticism. I welcome constructive criticism. In fact, uh, one of my uh, commentators mentioned that um, vlogging in front of my mirror all the time was kind of annoying, so guess what? I'm not vlogging in front of a mirror right now, you know? So I listen to you guys. But it's different, you know, I mean, some of the comments I've been getting, you know, like, stop talking, you twidget pussy. Stop it, you're fat and your voice is annoying. Go die in a hole, asshole. You know, that kind of shit. No, I don't deal with that shit. I just straight up block you, so... I encourage all of my viewers, if you see a troll comment, uh, just either mark it as spam, or, uh, downvote it, um... Just don't respond to it, just do those two things and, uh, we'll be good to go. So, yeah. No hate. Hating is secured. <laughs> okay, before I run out of breath and pass out, I just hit the seven minute mark. Uh, so I'll quickly uh, talk about my five-year anniversary that's coming up March 1st. Um, something incredibly special is going to be coming out, but I don't have the time to talk about it right now. So, yeah, this is the Anisan signing off for now. Thanking you guys, my super special awesome audience, for tuning in and handling uh, the waiting time and the such. Um, also for rating, commenting, subscribing, the views... The, the, the messages, everything. Seriously, you guys are awesome. And I'd like to see more of you. <laughs> more! <laughs> and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.